man, it's not easy. Hello everyone, thanks so much for checking out this toy photography video. So this is going to be the very first episode of a brand new series I'm going to do called Toy Photography Basics. So I'm going to do a ton of different videos of all little basic things you need to just get started with toy photography if you're new or if you want to brush up your skills. So this is going to be the first one of that series. And this one's going to be really cool because it's completely about not using any kind of fancy equipment. We're just gonna use a phone to take our pictures, the camera phone, this isn't even a new phone, and an action figure. I'm not gonna use any kinds of fancy gear or whatever because I so often do videos where I say how to do this and how to do this, but it's always with you know my nice DSLR camera or all this other fancy gear that I use, but no fancy gear this video. Just a phone and a figure and I think that probably the one extra piece of equipment I'm gonna use is this cheapo tripod that holds a smartphone because this will be really useful and I'm gonna use this because it's like 10 bucks at Walmart or 10 bucks on Amazon or somewhere so I might use this we'll see so like I said if you are new to toy photography or if you do wanna just get a little better on certain things or whatever I would definitely recommend subscribing because the next few videos I'm gonna do are all in this series and I'm gonna focus on different things like camera settings and posing uh, setting up a scene all kinds of stuff like that so I would definitely recommend and even if you're not new to toy photography and just want to subscribe that would help me out too a lot so yeah so in this video we're gonna be trying to take advantage of a lot of things that are completely free you know like the Sun or water or dirt or something. Another thing I get a lot is like, oh, I don't have any really great locations near me to shoot. So I'm just gonna be shooting like in the parking lot, in my apartment building, uh, in like the, the little yard area. I'm not going anywhere fancy. Just gonna be using the absolute smallest amount of materials possible. And still gonna try and make some pretty cool art because smartphones can do some crazy things. So the first shot I'm gonna wanna do today is with Aquaman and uh, it's really sunny outside, so I think some water effects are gonna work really well. Most of the time, whenever I do any kind of cool water effects, the super bright sunlight really helps. And with a smartphone, it'll auto-correct all of the settings based on the sunlight, this, like that. So if it's really strong sunlight, it's gonna have a very fast shutter, which is really good for that really nice crispy water effect that I like. So, uh, I'm gonna go set up outside right now in my parking lot and try to get a cool shot with my phone. All right, so I basically got Aquaman all set up in a really nice pose over here, raising his uh, quindent. Uh, and so I've got a water bottle. So this is water from my sink that I filled up totally free. And it's a really sunny day, so the sun is gonna really help that water uh, pop in the photo. And I made something really cool, check it out. So it's a little light reflector. So I usually use the little light reflector that I have. Uh, you know, it cost me like $20 or something, but this right here was basically free. I just wrapped a cardboard box with some aluminum foil, and it's already like, you can tell how much it's kind of reflecting the sun. And that's gonna help with getting the light on all around Aquaman, so I think that's gonna help a lot. So this is something you could totally make just in your kitchen. I just did it, like literally right now. So I'm gonna set this up, and I'm gonna pour some water behind Aquaman, and I think I'm gonna use the uh, timer on my phone, and we'll see if we can take a cool shot just like that. So the next shot I'm gonna do is with a Scout Trooper Black Series. And uh, I wanna make it look like kind of like a forest scene, kind of like it's on uh, the forest moon of Endor or something. So we're gonna do the good old stick trick. So if you remember the stick trick, we've done it, I've done it in a few videos, but basically you just take a bunch of 
bunch of sticks. You take a bunch of old sticks, you know, you find outside, and you stick them in the ground, all over the place, uh, around your figure or whatever, and then in the photo, it'll actually kind of look like there are a bunch of trees in a, in a, in a, in a forest. So I love that technique because it's real, it's free, and it actually kind of works, and it looks like it's in a forest. So uh, we're gonna do that with the scout trooper, and then we're gonna try and kick some dust up to make it look like uh, some kind of action or something too. So um, yeah, let's start setting it. Man, the more I do this, the more and more I realize how hard this is with just a phone. <laughs> it's really tough to make it look good. Man, it's not easy. So props to anyone who just uses a phone and not a camera. Seriously. <laughs> but we got them all set up. Got a bunch of sticks around here. Got the phone all set up in the right angle. And I'm going to take some of this dirt on the ground here and just kind of like throw it in there uh, while I'm taking the photo to see if it looks like a cool kind of like action dirt effect. And then that, I think, will be the shot. All right, so it's getting towards the end of the day, which is like favorite time of the day for toy photography. The sun starts going down a little bit. It's the magic hour. I love that lighting so much. So I'm gonna try and take advantage of that. I'm right here in like the little park area of my apartment on this picnic table and I'm gonna try and take some cool like sun, not, maybe not sunset, but cool like silhouette kinds of shots, you know, using the cell phone. So I've got some Power Rangers and I've got an old kind of cheap Batman DC Direct figure. So I'm gonna see what I can do about maybe getting some lower angles with the sun behind the figure um, and then maybe using this spray bottle. So. This is another piece of equipment that you'll need, but this is just for fun. This is, um, you can get this really cheap from anywhere. Oh, or you can just use an old Windex bottle or something. But I'm gonna try that out and see what we can do with um, some cool lighting. So I'm all done shooting outside, so the only thing left to do with these photos is really just to do some editing. And I usually edit all my photos using Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, but that's another thing that's a little bit expensive. So I'm going to use a free app on my phone, just Adobe Lightroom. I'm not going to really do be able to do a whole lot with it, but it's free. So I'm going to fiddle around with that and then we'll see the final product of these photos. So I really hope this video was helpful for you. If you don't have a camera, if you're just getting started, uh, it just kind of shows that you can really do a lot with just some of the free stuff that's available to you. The photos obviously aren't as like high quality as um, maybe what you could do with a full DSLR camera, but I gotta say, I kind of just enjoyed going out there with my phone and a figure, and just kind of not worrying about things and just doing things like I used to when I first got started. It was very fun. I enjoyed it for sure. So, like I said, this is the first of many Toy Photography Basics videos. It's a brand new series I want to start doing. So, uh, like I said, if you're new to Toy Photography, I would really recommend subscribing. You're definitely going to want to see these next few videos coming up, and I hope they help you out. As always, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok, Facebook, all that stuff. Everything's linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.